Hi, and welcome to another edition of Admiral Science. I'm your host, Mr. Allen, and today we're going to talk about conduction, convection, and radiation. Alright, and we talk about specifically transfer of heat energy and... Alright, today we're going to be talking about the three types of heat energy transfer, uh, conduction, convection, and radiation, and how they play a part in our um, system. So today, first up, it's conduction, and if we know anything about conduction, conduction is the transfer of energy as heat from one substance to another through direct contact. When we say direct contact, that means it's touching the heat source. And so here we have an example of a person who's holding a rod over in an open flame. That is direct contact because the rod is actually touching the flame and that is going to allow the heat to transfer from the rod all the way down the rod into the person's hand. Eventually it's going to burn the person's hand. It's going to be an ouch. Alright, so that's conduction. Conduction is through direct contact. Alright, next up we have convection and we see convection happen all the time and it happens with our liquids and our gases and the transfer of energy as heat by the movement of a liquid or a gas it occurs when a cooler denser mass of a gas or a liquid replaces a warmer less dense mass of gas or liquid and if we we, uh, if we remember what density is is that when a density uh, one object is going to sit on top of another and so when it's when because cold air is uh, more dense than warm air cold air sinks and pushes the warm air above it and so that creates this cyclic effect of warm air rising and cold air sinking and it's going to continue on as long as there's a heat source making it available heating up so in our example we have a pot of water and the pot of water we have conduction going on because the pot is touching the flame and is allowing the pot to be heated and that whole pot is going to be heated all right and then we have convection going on because as the pot is being heated that bottom part has been is the hottest area of the pot it's the hottest where the hottest water is located at and all that hot water because it's less dense than cold water the colder water at the top is going to push the hotter water up and so when that cold water falls down it's also now going to get heated and the co and the water just pushed up is going to get cooled and so then again it's going to happen again where that hot water is then going to get pushed up by the le the more dense cold water and it's going to keep that cyclic effect going as long as there's a heat source maintaining it all right so and that's convection that cyclic effect where gases or liquids and where the hot it where the hot gases or hot liquids has been pushed up by the more dense colder air or colder gas and then lastly we have radiation radiation is the transfer of energy by electromagnetic waves and unlike uh, conduction where you actually have to touch the heat source and radiation you don't radiation you can feel that heat just like if you would feel the the heat or the warmth from a, an open fire without touching it that's radiation you can feel it because that's that them, them electromagnetic waves and they're being radiated towards you towards your hand so that you can feel the heat all right and so that's radiation you're not actually directly touching the heat source but you can feel it you can actually feel the heat source in the warmth of your hands and if we look at it and just a reminder so convection is the actual direct touching of the heat source and I'm, I'm sorry conduction is the actual direct touching of the heat source and through direct contact and you can actually feel this is in this rod this person is holding is actually going to heat touch the the flame and it's going to heat up that rod and that rod is going to get hotter and hotter and it's like a vibration effect so it's a chain reaction that happens so because remember as things heat up the molecules starting to move faster all right that's remember our, our conversation with temperature is that is that it's the speed that um, is what measures temperature and what is what temperature measures the speed or the average kinetic energy of an object and so those molecules are starting to move faster and then as this chain reaction occurs it's going to get move faster and faster and all the molecules start to move and they slowly slowly start to move and it's going to heat up that entire rod and so eventually that person is, was smart this time and they wore gloves so they didn't want to get burnt because that he's going to travel all the way up the rod and then you have convection where you have the hot air or the hot gas being pushed up by the more dense 
colder air or cruder gas. All right, and that, that cyclic effect keeps going on where the hot air is being ri risen and the cold, more dense air is being um, pushed going down to the bottom because it's more dense. All right, and then radiation. Radiation, again, we can feel it. It's not direct contact, but you can feel the electromagnetic waves of the heat of thermal energy radiating off of the heat source. All right, such as when you put your hand over an open flame or open fire. All right, and that is all about how our energy sources, our, I'm sorry, our thermal energy is transferred from one object to another. This has been an edition of Admiral Science. I hope you enjoyed the show. This is all about conduction, convection, radiation. See you next time.